Hey everybody, welcome. <clears throat> I uh, back here. I'm going to start doing a little bit of work. I'm going to do a little bit of clearing for uh, the new blind to go um, into its spot. Um, there's something back here. We believe it's the bear. The bear cubs are back here, and they're um, tearing apart the old the old blind pretty bad. So it needs to be cleaned up and. Uh, couple of trees have to come down so that I have enough room to put the new blind in its place but I'm gonna try to make it as easy as possible so um, I need to remove some stuff here and kind of see my footprint and uh, make sure it's all good to go but most of all getting it kind of cleaned up back here is gonna be number one and then once it's cleaned up then I'm gonna be start working on the blind to get it disassembled put it in the shop and then I'm gonna to uh, slowly reassemble it on a new platform and insulate it and stuff like that move a few windows and uh, then in pieces I'm gonna bring it back here because there's no hydro back here so I have to bring it back in pieces so I can just screw it all together and be done with it and, and uh, kind of like a kit Been out <clears throat> working hard in the backyard. I, uh, as you've seen in other videos, right outside our back door, um, we had some raised beds last year that we put up. But this year, because of all the plans changed, we did the greenhouse and the new garden. These red raised beds did not fit, um, so we were taking thinking about taking them out, and we can move them out back, and the kids can have some garden beds. And then we'll do our our own stuff for the, the family growing. So this is what I've been hard at doing all day today. The raised beds are now gone completely. So I've got this all level, quadivated, and uh, all I got to do now is rake it out and then pick up all the little dirt piles that you see like right there. Um, but that's just, you know, I go around the wheelbarrow, pick it up, no big deal. It looks awesome. I'm, I'm super happy about it. But the quadivator though, I'll show you this cool implement. I'll flip the camera around and show you. This is the quadivator. It is hydraulic, or actually not hydraulic, it's done by an actuator. It's all electric. It's all the way up, it goes all the way down. The tires come up off the ground and that will plow the ground. Now, you can't do solid, solid grab well, here, we're mostly all clay. So, clay when it's hard, yeah, you, you're not, it's hard to even put a uh, freaking excavator through, let alone one of these. But, this thing here has become so handy. And then you pick it up. Awesome piece of machinery. Um... I kind of wish I had it on my quad because, you know, using dad's quad here, I don't like using other people's equipment, but I can't really do that with mine anyway. I have been using mine a little bit harder than I should, but we have to get things done. Uh, there's no, no way around it. Um, I'm going to be going back. Got to cut some trees. I got a whole bunch of trees that are dead fallen um, that I cut last year. So I need to get those things put up on the wagon and loaded and brought up the house because our wood pile is getting quite low. Um, because, I mean, come on. Who doesn't love sitting around a nice fire on a beautiful afternoon after work or after a day of work and just relaxing? And we're going to cook some hot dogs and stuff on the fire tonight anyway for dinner. So I might as well get it going and get a good bed of coals going. 
And just down hanging out with Riker. Riker's over there playing with his bike. Say hi to YouTube! <laughs> Riker wants to show everybody how he is riding his bike without training wheels. He's doing so good. So proud of him. Little Speedy Gonzales. Let's, let's look at a video of your your caterpillar. Got this caterpillar. He keeps standing up, but he's not really. Oh, he's making it. There he goes. Oh, yeah, there you go. He's weird. 13. But he's kind of cool at the same time. <laughs> 